welcome to part 2 of the standing semi doll pattern. Now we're going to assemble the body. The materials we're going to need are doll skin, the doll head we made in part 1, 250 grams of corn fiber, a stuffing strip and a thread that matches the skin color. Trace your pattern pieces onto the doll skin. Leave a 2 inch gap at the bottom side of the arm piece. Sew around the traced lines. Leave the 2 inch gap at the arm piece open while sewing. This will be our turning hole later on. I am cutting open the top part of the head cover as it didn't fit for me and pull it over the head. You can just leave it open while sewing or it might just fit the head you made. Fold over the fabric on top of the head, pin it in place and sew it down. Sew the fabric to the muff. This will make sure we are preventing ghost neck, a wrinkly neck, when tying the neck string. Tie the string around the neck and pull it really tight. Stuff the legs and half of the belly. Now stuff the arms. Leave the part between the arms empty. That'll just be wrapped around the muff later on. Pin the arms to the muff and sew in place. Fold over the top edge of the torso fabric and pin it to the neck. Sew the torso fabric to the neck all the way around.
finish stuffing the belly through the armholes. Make a really nice chubby belly. Close the shoulder seam and the armhole. Take the long doll maker's needle, go in at the arm seam and come out at the position of the belly button. So round and round in a circle until you have a belly button bump. <laughs> now close the other shoulder seam and armhole. Sew a dividing seam between belly and legs to give the body some structure. It's basically the crotch seam. Go all the way from one side through to the other side of the doll. Now we are sewing a foot seam. And there is our naked dolly body all ready to become a little dolly person. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter if you like. See you next time. Bye.